Often people choose their pets, but there are times when the animals themselves make the choice. One day, Selene and her husband Daniel were taking a leisurely weekend bike ride in Brittany, France. They pulled onto a quiet path in the woods and suddenly heard a piercing cry. And when they pulled apart a thicket of ferns, they saw her, Mini Kitty. At first, the calico kitten behaved ambiguously, hissing with anger or crying with fear, not understanding how to treat people. Celine spoke to him, sat down on the ground, held out her palm, sniffing the girl's hand. The kitten became bolder and came closer, and then, in some united impulse, jumped on her and began to climb on her clothes, desperately clawing with its claws and never ceasing to meow. The baby's voice was a plea not to be left here alone. Of course, Celine and Danielle took the kitten with them, although riding the bikes and making sure the clumsy kitten didn't fall out was no easy task. Thankfully, the kitten had learned that the best chance of rescue was to be as close to a human as possible. They didn't know then that this would become her life's creed. When they got home, it turned out to be a girl so they named her Mini Kitty without a second thought. The baby ate all the food that was offered to her and then settled down on Daniel's neck and slept for almost 24 hours. Since then, she has only climbed down from there to eat, wash, or sit on someone else. Mini Kitty strictly adheres to the rule of offering cuddles and purrs to everyone. Even after a year, the grown-up Mini Kitty can't live without hugging someone. She is the first to greet Celine and Daniel when they wake up, always asking for a cuddle. As a last resort, Mini Kitty will cuddle with a soft toy. Mini Kitty never wants to be alone because she still has vivid memories from her past life when she was a kitten crying in the fern thickets.